Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want us to talk about self-tanning. So quite frankly, uh, if you guys actually have been following my channel for quite a bit, I have done uh, like fake tan for quite a bit. Uh, like not myself, uh, but just like uh, from a company called Sugared and Bronze. That was my first time using, uh, I mean, just getting a tan. Uh, I Otherwise I was just, you know, like tanning in the sun and hoping that I would get a better tan. So there are products that's like very famous ones. This is from Saint Tropez. You can definitely use them if you want. I personally never had an experience from them. So don't call me if they're bad or not good. So I don't know. From what I have seen, that's a lot of people are using it. But there's another popular company that I actually partnered with for their TikTok. Not for this video, I'm literally just doing this because I want to share my self-tanning experience. It's called Isle of Paradise. This is a product. Um, most of their famous one actually is called Isle of Paradise Self-Tanning Drops. This is not the product. So self-tanning drops is essentially like an oil which you mix with your moisturizer to apply as a moisturizing, self-tanning moisturizer. Kind of like that. But this one is like, self tanning butter and it says you essentially use this in the case of a moisturizer body moisturizer so if you're gonna use a moisturizer on your body or not essential moisturizer if you're gonna use a lotion on your body instead of using a lotion you should be using this so it opens like this then you know you just pop it out first thing first before starting a tan uh, this applies to salon and also just your self tanning you need to exfoliate so what it means by that is like for women obviously this means like just shave um, you know because women shave their legs and like other areas uh, there are similar aspects to the men too because like if you are if you have like you know beard like mine and like you probably should shave or you should probably like trim at least because um, like if you're gonna shave right afterwards like after your tanning you're gonna have like this awkward phase of like this whiteness or part of it because you should be exfoliating right before I mean right before you should be exfoliating at least a day before of your self tanning or just any sort of tanning so your, your body should be like very um, smooth yeah that's the word I'm looking for so your body really really needs to be smooth for your tanning process uh, so any kind of tanning process so um, it really helps with that so that's one reason also not a lot of people recommend is like don't use uh, don't get tanned if you have like cracks or anything like that on your skin wait for it to heal then it can you know, then you can get it because your skin needs to be very smooth so that's why like if you have if you're gonna shave your under like armpits or like if you're gonna shave your face if you're gonna shave your legs anything like that so definitely do that way before there are a couple things with Saint Tropez I know they give you a mitt is it what's called mitt yeah so like you put in your like hands uh, this doesn't personally come with it so now I'm gonna tell you guys why like it doesn't it didn't work for me maybe I did bad like I didn't well enough so I'm gonna mention that uh, so what happened with mine, this is like one of the big mistakes. It was saying it in here too, it's like if you, when you use your hands, like afterwards, like wash your hands. Um, I did wash my hands, but I don't know what happened and you guys are gonna see now. Like you guys see, so I have this like now tan. I just realized why this happened. So as I mentioned before, it says like dry skin or cracked skin. Because this is here, I have calluses because of lifting and they are actually cracked skin. And same here, these are all cracked. Imagine why it's not my old hands, just that area. It's because those are the cracked skin, hence all the coloring went over there. So that's why you need to make sure there are no cracked skin. Because I was using it with my hands, not the mitt, uh, I applied like very little product. This is the reveal. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see like see this part like it didn't I feel like it could have done much better and uh, I just feel like I didn't apply too much there's other parts that I'm gonna show you guys and I think that one might be more obvious so this part so I applied here and I think I I literally just forgot here and I feel like I did apply here but I don't know what I did. So I 
I think main mistake I made here is that I didn't apply enough product. So you need to be applying like a lot of product then you can distribute around the area. Um, I didn't do that. So <laughs> I'm gonna try more to see it. Um, it hasn't, so in here too, like I think in here is just like not even close, like completely done. So that's something I would recommend. It's like, don't be afraid to apply like uh, too much or like tr put too much because I feel like when you're a beginner, like you are so scared that like you're gonna use too much of the product then you don't use it enough hence you don't get much difference because like i feel like i got little difference like um here um but not as significant i would say i will definitely insert my <laughs> tiktok video right here showing before and after <laughs> which i shot like the after today so to show you guys and this is like i use this now three times but i'm just realizing that i didn't use it as much also one thing i would say is that like this is like still my tan look because like even my face i also applied a little bit on my face so i i'm like a lot whiter than this color so this is definitely like tan look but i feel like in order to get like really really tan i just feel like you definitely might almost use this like entire thing don't just like use the tanner like any sort of tanner like this and just go into the bed like go to bed like the number one worst mistake you can make because first of all that needs to like kind of like be set on your body and like kind of, it has to develop any sort of tan it takes time to develop and most of them is like four to six hours uh even the express ones is like i think four three hours something like that so you definitely need to give it time to develop. So I would recommend that either doing like in the morning, uh, so you can just sit in your desk and like do your stuff, or like then you can do it in like middle of the day and like, you know, just do that. Then afterwards you can shower and everything. Uh, so it's definitely gonna have like a nicer glow. One thing I would say this though, comparing to any other self tanning product I have used in the past, this one is like, feels very natural. Like even this one, like I don't think you, you can tell that I even use this. It feels more like a natural thing. Uh, it does feel very, very natural. It develops in a very good way. I just think that I didn't use it that correctly. <laughs> so <laughs> I am learning. Okay, there is last tip I just remembered and this is so, so important guys, like very important. So after your tanning is done, let's just say you perfected, right? This is kind of like having a tattoo, like after a tattoo, like you really need to make sure, like getting a tattoo, you just have to make sure it's moisturized, like not super moisturized, but like somewhat moisturized. So that's the same thing with your tan, like in order to keep your tan longer, like as long as you want, you have to make sure you apply like body moisturizer or just a lotion. Uh, they have specific kind of like they recommend. I would just say like any sort of moisturizer you can use for your body. So definitely use a moisturizer because it really helps to just keep your body smooth and also your tan longer.